Hi everybody, it's Brad. I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead, and today we're gonna show you how we make popcorn, and it's a super de duper easy, cheap snack. Very cheap. For big families or whatever. So here we go. So we have seven kids, and snacks can get very expensive. And we really don't like a lot of the chemicals in the snacks today, so. So, well, we basically use as much at home ingredients from scratch stuff as we can and popcorn is absolutely the most economical thing we can find that everybody likes. It's easy to make and fast and cheap. And the kids love it. Kids love it and honestly, what we're getting ready to show you is how we do it uh, and, and it costs us, I think, for a massive amount, a humongous bowl that feeds mm -hmm. just about everybody, uh, about 10 cents. Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients, what we do, we're gonna put it together, and then dog on it, we're gonna make some popcorn. We might even fling it at each other. That'd be fun. <laughs> now for ingredients, you really can't get any more basic. You're gonna use about a half cup of popping corn. We use coconut oil for lots and lots of reasons, uh, but this is going to be what you're gonna put in your uh, pan. And how much is that, mamacita? About two tablespoons. About two tablespoons of coconut oil, and then salt to taste. You don't even have to use salt, <laughs> but we like salt. Yeah. Okay, so there are many, many, many different ways to make popcorn at home. But I feel that the fastest and easiest way to make popcorn is the Whirly Pop. Whirly Pop! Woohoo! And least amount of waste. Oh yes, least amount of waste. I forgot about that part, so. Oh, but you gotta tell them. If you get a Whirly Pop, you get, gotta get the metal gears. Get the stainless steel gears. Metal gears, because we ran through our first Whirly Pop in less than a, a, a week? couple weeks. I think it was a week. <laughs> it was only a couple weeks. Yeah. So show us, Beta Cakes, my lovely bride, how are we gonna make some popcorn? All right. Put your heat on medium. <laughs> Boom. Add a couple of tablespoons of coconut oil. Okay. Ooh. Doesn't have to be exact. So we're, we're gonna let our coconut oil melt, and as soon as it's done melting, we're gonna throw three popcorn kernels. Three, trace. Just three. When those, when those pop, then your uh, pan is hot enough to throw the rest of the kernels in. In you go, guys. The trifecta of corn. There it is. It's Ooh. not melted yet. Not melted yet. Oh, well. Okay. All right. So now that our test kernels have popped, we're gonna go ahead and throw our kernels in there and close the lid, but you have to keep spinning the handle. Oh! Whirly whirl. Show me, baby. Give me your whirly whirliness. Whirly whirly. So the trick to knowing when your popcorn is ready, when the handle is hard to turn and the kernels have slowed down in their popping. Yeehaw! <laughs> Take a peek. Mm. All right, so it's starting to get a little difficult. I can feel that the popper is getting full. Now, I can't turn the handle anymore. But I'm, gonna, the I'm gonna let the, uh, I'm gonna take it off the heat mm -hmm. and let the popping slow down. Yep, hear that? It's almost done. Yep. It's pretty much el finito. Done. So now at this point, the popcorn is ready to eat if you don't like salt. However, we like salt on our popcorn. We like salt. We like salt. So just salt to taste. Give it a little bouncy bounce and you're off to the races. So there you have it, party people of YouTube. Make your popcorn. <laughs> it's cheap. Just go do it. And it's easy. It's easy. Yes, what she said. Ditto. Uh, I'm Brad with the Big Family Homestead. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing day.